Morning, everybody. We're here today tying some rat lines. We all know this is one of the fun parts. I've learned watching other YouTube videos. That you want to start going around the front, but come out underneath your little loop that you went around. Okay, sort of like that. Then you go around again, and I'm sort of using two pair of tweezers because it's really hard to get in there with your fingers. When you go around again and come out front, you want to wrap it through or poke it through your last loop that you just created when you went around the second time. Now you can see it's called a clove hitch. You can see that knot. And sometimes I'll pull to my left to get that to cinch up, close to cinching up, and then I pull hard to the right while I keep tension on the beginning to lock it down and of course you want to make sure it's at the right height when you do the final sense so we go here with the tweezers and grab this from underneath instead of on top which means I'm Bringing that loop around and the tail end is coming out underneath the beginning of the loop. And then I'm going to go around again, but this time pull that tail end through the open part of the loop. You can see here the bottom part of my first loop is stuck on that white knot. So I got to get that off. I'm pulling to the left again a little bit. And what that does when I pull to the left a little bit while I'm trying to cinch that up is it makes the tension between the two even so you don't have little sloppy loop of slack in there like I do over here. First one's always the toughest. And then try to hold it while you cinch it up the rest of the way. Pull into the right. That'll bring the face of the knot around so your next leading tail is heading toward your next riser rope. There's probably a technical name for that. Uh, I gotta look in the book. So the only awkward thing here is actually see I'm on top so I gotta be on the bottom. Yeah, the only awkward thing here is that this is so close, you almost got to use tweezers instead of your fingers. Get in there. And these things are almost like six or seven millimeters apart. That one's probably. 10 millimeters there. 
So you see how I pulled to the right with the tail and cinched it up on there. And now it looks like it's going downhill. So before I actually tighten it up the rest of the way, I'm going to try to scoot it up a little bit. And then now I'll bring my tail over to the right and cinch it. So you can see there, that's pretty even. So we'll do one more. Poke it through, grab it, get underneath. Sort of awkward with this. Tweezers in the rope is so little. So now I'm underneath there, see? Underneath that loop. Now I'm gonna poke it through again. Grab it. And this time I wanna straighten this out and push my tail through that loop before I start cinching. You can see this white knot is pretty close to where I want to be at, so I'm putting pressure against this, so I'm pulling that straight as I cinch it. And now hold the vertical line with your fingers and cinch it to the right. Okay. I hope that was informative. We'll see you again soon.